Hi everyone, welcome to Weekly Mod Picks, episode 6 for Fallout 4. I'm currently a week behind due to illness and it being my stag weekend, the two possibly are related, but I'm back now and ready to kick things off with this episode. First up, let's take a look at the fantastic looking Toxic Raider armor by Grin Jin Urchin. This armor set feels a little bit like Mad Max and Borderlands with a little touch of Harley Quinn. It's also a modular piece like the vanilla armors, so it comes with this first cloth set and then you can apply the armor pieces on top, just like you would with the vault suit and say leather armor pieces. This means you can mix and match what armor pieces you wear and it is possible to wear some of the vanilla pieces over the top of this. Just bear in mind there will be some clipping with certain pieces. There's also the option here to wear the gas mask, or if you prefer, you can have piercings appear on your character. It is currently only for female characters, and I would love to see a male version added if the mod author is willing to make one. If other colour variants and a male version were created, I would love to see this armour added to the level list. I think it'd be fantastic to see the Raiders of Fallout 4 wearing this type of armour. And personally, it's one of my favourite female armours for the game so far. Three mods are also required to use this armour. You'll need Armour Smith Extended, AWKCR and the CBBE Skeleton. Let's return to the guns table for this episode and take a look at the modular Simonov PTRS-41. Now contained within this mod are actually three weapons. We have the Simonov PTRS-41, as well as a Type 76 Chinese anti-power armor rifle and a new melee weapon known as the Old School Can Opener. As well as these weapons, there is a new ammunition type, the 14.5mm round. Both rifles pack a serious punch and have quite a bit of recoil as you can see. Now the mod name is Modular. And that's because it has a serious amount of weapon modifications available for each rifle. There are 93 in total, including using the new caliber, which is the 14.5mm, and you can switch this between a serious amount of other ones. A small note on the new ammo type, it can be crafted or created at the cooking station or chemistry station. It's also been added to the level list, so if you have any conflicts with this, you will need to make a merge patch with Fallout 4 edit. Personally, the melee weapon is not for me. It's literally an oversized version of the weapon with a long barrel and a Hellbird type fixture on the top. But hey, if I don't like it, then I just won't use it. The rifles, on the other hand, are more in keeping with what I like. They are a little bit too long in my opinion and it causes a little bit clipping on the shoulder of which the um, butt of the weapon rests. But that's not too much of a deal and I don't really play in the third person that much. What I'm really liking from the weapon mods that we're getting so far is the use of Fallout 4's level of customization. There is a lot of modifications that can be added to these two rifles and it's really great to see that advantage being taken. It means you can have the weapon looking exactly how you want and fit pretty much every playstyle. Now this next mod, dare I say it, adds some immersion to the game. It's called Sit Anywhere and I have covered a mod similar to this in the past as well for Fallout 4 and one called by the same name for Fallout New Vegas. This one, unlike the previous one for Fallout 4, just works a little bit better and uses a item in your inventory that you can hotkey so you can sit in two different styles. You can use both styles in the same game there is an optional download which will apply two different items to your inventory so you can use both sitting options and basically all you need to do is hotkey this item select it via hotkeys there'll be a short animation which plays quite seamlessly and quite nice in game and you'll sit down in the required pose to stand back up select it again from your favorites and you'll stand back up in again a nice seamless movement the camera movement here as well is what I'm doing just so you can see the animations a bit more clearly. This is the other one that I selected and again a nice smooth animation to sit down and a nice smooth one to sit back up. It goes very nicely with some of the camping mods 
and also with the wait menu mod as well. So then you can wait while you sit down in any pose you desire. The next one is, this is going to be a quick showcase of this mod. It's called Coffee. And as you can see, what it does is adds two different types of coffee to the two different types of coffee mug that you can find in the game. However, there are a few kinks with this because it's going to add it to every cup that you find. So even ones that are on its side or upside down or underwater, you'll still find coffee in those mugs, which can be a bit game breaking or dare I say it, immersion breaking. However, it's a nice concept and could be built upon in the future, maybe with some steam coming off these mugs and maybe making them standalone mugs that you can craft in certain menus. Next up is another immersive mod called Milk Bat Brahmin. Now this does pretty much what you think it does and you join me here in Abernathy Farm. Because what we're going to do with this mod is Milk Cowbell. Now this also adds several different other Brahmin to the game as well which you can also milk. But first things first, what you'll need in your inventory is in your junk section a empty milk bottle. You'll need one of these to put the milk in obviously and there is also a slight chance that the milking will fail. Maybe you've done it too soon after the last milk etc. But we'll see how this goes so just hopefully she'll be steady and happily to be milked. And on the top left you'll see several milk messages come up saying that we've successfully milked the Brahmin and that unpasteurized milk has been added to the inventory. So with unpasteurized milk, you can drink it, though there are certain penalties with that. But what you can do is go to the cooking station and under beverages, you will find pasteurized milk. So we'll take that unpasteurized milk and turn it into nice pasteurized milk, which improves health and also improves your strength for a bit and removes rats. It's a great concept that adds something really quite useful to the game. I do enjoy this mod, especially if I was using it with survival mode. And there are two versions of the mod, one suited to survival mode and one suited to normal vanilla gameplay. You even get this very nice new model for a full milk bottle. So that brings me to the end of this episode. If you'd like the look of any of the mods that I've showed in the video, you'll find links to them down in the description below. As always, guys, remember to endorse the mods that you use and support mod authors that you use frequently. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.